I tell you what, if you enjoy cutting loose with a little fiddle playing, you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. You don't have to play the fiddle to enjoy the music. And each year, Tulsa's Jana Jay brings her love for fiddling to great events all summer long. It's something that I want to do, and when I see people connect with music, it's a gift for, of a lifetime. I got very involved with the community and they needed a fiddle contest and so we did that first and did a Cajun festival because I love the Cajun music, I wanted to share that. Then they want to learn so I did the fiddle camp, so we do those three festivals. I've been with her for 21 years and uh, I work in her office and help with the festivals. Well, We have three festivals every year. Beginning in June, this year it'll be June 11th, 12th, and 13th, and that is the American Heritage Music Festival, which is a national fiddle contest. We have lots of things planned for this year, which will be a wonderful festival year. We bring in one of the best Cajun bands from Louisiana, Chris Miller and the Bayou Roots. They have been coming for several years, and people love to listen to their music. And we've been doing those for quite a few years and it is a wonderful community. We were traveling in Rio Doso, New Mexico and all over New Mexico and um, I was captivated by all the art in Taos and, and Santa Fe, and I thought, you know, that was another sharing. I love art, and when I was in Vienna studying music, we went to all the museums and studied, actually, at the Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna. I just, again, wanted to share it, and I started buying things for the house as we traveled, and um, uh, was in New Mexico, I came, came across this fellow who had a, a wonderful mix of art. I said, you know, I'd love to get some of this into Oklahoma. He said, I'll, I'll bring a truckload up. <laughs> and that's what started. These are Navajo rugs, um, the natural dye, and uh, very, very tight weave. And that's what makes them expensive, is the tight weave and the fact that they're natural dye. And they're, they're really, this one in particular, I got these on a Navajo reservation. They were gifts. I just uh, treasure these, and we have some at the gallery too. But this is a rock done by Pat Music, who is the wife of an astronaut, and they're really into materials and natural rocks and so forth. This rock is all polished. It's very heavy. This is the Quapa by Charles Banks Wilson. And it's not an original, but it does have some of his original brush strokes on it. The ladies would check their petticoats in this mirror, and I found it in a, oh, just a secondhand shop, antique shop. It was dust covered and dishes covering this beautiful wood and the marble. And uh, I started poking around. I saw a little bit of wood here. Anyway, we brought this home. We have many different things. We've got beautiful art, original and prints. We have wonderful gift items, jewelry. We have Native American gift items. We even carry clothing. Uh, you'll have something to take home to, for, to your wife because we have some beautiful things in the gallery for, uh, in the way of clothing. Uh, we have rugs, furniture, uh, just about anything that you'd want in the Southwest line. We have music lessons in there. One of the gals comes in and teaches on Tuesday. So it's a big uh, composite of wonderful things that I love.